So we are going to go ahead and see if we can add some power, which we are too poor to afford power. Another thing, you can also end up doing engine swaps later on, which is kind of important, and there's kind of a trick associated with it that anybody who is watching this video who played this game knows exactly what I'm talking about, which basically involved taking the disc out of your PS2 while it was still functioning and letting the game rack up the mileage. <laughs> because you do actually need to have a certain amount of mileage to um, go ahead and uh, do an engine swap. So we'll continue on the C1 inner loop. Just, you know, again, continue to pile through the gang members. Gang members. I, makes it sound so vicious, so violent. You know, like these guys are out doing some sort of, like, drive-bys and everything like that. Bring on Silvestre! And hopefully that autopilot doesn't drive me into a wall. Chomp! <laughs> Chomp! I just drove into a wall! Another cool and entirely insignificant feature. Turn signals and hazard lights. Yeah, not sure why why you would need that, but there you go. If you ever wanted a racing game where you had no reason at all, but you wanted them anyways, you got turn signals in Tokyo Extreme Racer 3. There's, of course, chase cams available, but, well, I don't drive from chase cam because I can't drive from chase cam. I hit everything in chase cam. Easy does it there. Calm down. Calm down, game. In general, at the start of the game, there are two games per section and you know, as you saw earlier there was a guy from our gangs I think it was something like that is some sort of yellow bird emblem thing in the jigger that was basically because one of the sections here overlaps so he's from the southern section I guess you'd want to call it but we will go there when we have more power because that is a power oriented section whereas this area requires a little bit more handling which is a little bit easier to deal with and because it is Tokyo Extreme Racer you always run in the back of a car to start your race and then you flash the high beams but you always run to the back well, because you can. And Shimo Kitazawa 2000 CC is going down. And if I actually pronounce that right, I should get a cookie. Yeah, I like I said, I promise you mispronunciations. Don't get too fed up. Don't get too angry. I'm sorry. It's just gonna happen. As you can see, here he comes. <laughs> Ooh, that was close. I almost hit that divider, and if you hit a divider in this game, you you just get screwed. You're just done. Should only have a few more guys left for rolling guy and fine drive. At least I believe that's what they're called. I have to check, but memory serves me right. I think I played this game enough to remember the names. It's actually pretty cool when you uh 
Occasionally when you downshift you also get backfire and everything like that, which is pretty neat. And this game actually does have not just rain racing, but snow racing as well, if I remember correctly. You know, the more and more I talk about it, the more and more I remember just how awesome this game was and how awesome this game still is. And there's also certain people that will race you only if you have uh, your PS2 set to a certain time. Which basically meant that you ended up firing up your PS2, changing the clock setting, because this is back before everything was connected to the internet and automatically setting itself up. But you changed the time on that, so that way you could race the guy. <laughs> There's a guy from a new team, SS Limited. I don't remember what they do, what their thing is, but... I'm really looking for him. I want to beat up on more rolling guys. I want to beat rolling guys with rolling pins. That'd be a cool nickname to have, Rolling Pin. Achieved after beating 20 rolling guys. So let's go ahead and catch up with the next guy. Where am I going? <laughs> Which way am I going? Eventually you just have to get really good at going through those because like I've mentioned a couple times that becomes a very valuable skill to have in this game. And it will certainly save your bacon. Just let everybody know that we're turning left here. As you can see, we've already racked up 32 miles. Ooh. Almost to that engine swap. Not. If I remember correctly, the engine swap is available at like 1,298 miles or something like that. It's a lot. And here's our first wanderer. Miko-chan. These guys may or may not race you. And you never really know until the race actually starts. They're basically free agents, guys who do their own thing, kind of like what I'm doing. They have no team, they have no allegiances, they're a rebel, they're a mercenary. Get out of my way. And in general, these guys are a little bit tougher than the regular gang members, but a little bit easier than the team leaders. And they also pay a good bit better than the regular gang rivals. Looks like we're cakewalking on this guy. And there we go. See, as you can see, that guy paid 3500 bucks rather than the 1100 that we usually get from the general game member populace. Let's go ahead and catch up with this next guy. If only this game had more traffic. I don't mean more cars, I mean just more variety. Such a bummer, it really is. There you saw a racer go by in the other direction, that's pretty cool, nice little detail. As you could tell by the lights. All the vans have the same color lights, whereas the uh, 
racers can have any different color. The more you know. Entirely insignificant though, because there's no real way to just go ahead and switch directions in an instant. Come on! I don't want to get trapped behind that van! <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's all part of the game. You gotta push them into the wall sometimes. You gotta leave them at no gap. I can only imagine how dangerous this type of racing would be if this was how it was actually done. Dead people all over the place, you'd have massive repair bills. This would not be good. I don't know why when I go down that hill, as soon as I get airborne a little bit. Revs drop to zero. It makes going around the corner nicely difficult, to say the least. Should be right around the next corner here. Which is convenient because that means we'll be starting... Starting right in the middle of those dividers. Which means he's going to fail. We'll get a head start. And I think this might be our last guy from this team. Before we get to race the team leader. Up and over the crest. Little kiss of the wall there. No damage done, literally. Oh yeah, we cakewalk this guy. And hopefully we'll get a race as team leader now. Hopefully. Yep, there we go. Team leaders always challenge you, not the other way around. Shooting star. There's a car driving on floating highway. And we're still floating. I think I have broken the game. And I think we're back. Okay, not sure what happened there. I always remember this game was prone to having sections of the highway just randomly vanish. Definitely seemed like it was a little bit buggy, but... Uh, that. As you can hear, the music has changed. It is amped up a notch, but it goes up like six notches higher, believe me. There's a song in this game that when you hear it, you just instantly, once you've played this game, you just instantly basically freak out. Because you know that it just got real. You just ate a barrier. That's one team down. As you can see, they pay fairly generously as well. Let's see if there's anyone else who wants to challenge us. I think there might be a pit. Pit up here somewhere. So we can change directions or change sections. Uh, it looks like I might be wrong. I don't feel like driving around forever. So we'll call that a night. Seven wins added. 
As you can see, our max speed up to 133 miles an hour. Yay! And we unlocked a new car. The Startlet Glanza V. The Glanza 5. I think they took the, the approach of, hey, the Saturn V was a rocket that was really big and everything like that, so it'd be really fast if we put a 5 at the end. And you can also go in here and read about the uh, team members and everything like that, such as their name. I'm gonna get you, Tetsu. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. So, as you can see, the rolling guy, team leader, he was forced to become the team leader when his brother suddenly left the team. Now he attacks the Kanju Sen with even more gusto than his older brother, Rolling Master, who frequents Tokyo as a rival. So as you can see, there is a little bit of a backstory and, and everything like that, and you can go in here after you beat people and get more information on them. Which, uh, like this guy. Although he tried to create a top performance machine based on calculation and data, he has made a huge miscalculation in terms of funding for the endeavor. He ran out of money. Yeah, <laughs> sucks for you. To allow the rear to glide smoothly, he has installed tires with different grips to the front and the rear. Steering response is also quick and the brake balance tends towards the rear. This kind of gives you a little bit of information, it's nothing major, but I'm going to go ahead and save here, because that would be the smart thing to do. And, uh, yeah.